Hello and welcome to 10x Growth Talk. And this week we're gonna cover law number five, always make your gratitude greater than your success. There's only a small percentage of people that are continually successful over the long run. These outstanding few recognize that every success comes through the assistance of many other people and they are continually grateful for the support they get from others. Conversely, many people whose success stops at some point is because they cut themselves off from everyone who has helped them. They think and view themselves as a sole source of their achievements, not giving anyone credit. Focus on appreciating and thanking others and the conditions will always grow to support your increasing success. Now, success is different for everybody. Some people measure success by money. Some people measure success by relationships. Some measure it by material possessions, some by love, wisdom, life skills, quality of life, etc. I mean, it's different for everybody. When people stop growing is when they think they have arrived to this success. For the person that is committed to lifetime growth, you need to believe that success is a process and not a destination. It's not somewhere you arrive, but something that you continuously do. Gratitude is the fuel for that growth. Appreciating what makes it all possible, appreciating other people, practicing proactive gratitude. You know, we have a 10x growth talk on proactive gratitude that you could go back and listen to. And then applying proactive gratitude into your life. Now there's three essential ingredients that goes into gratitude because I think gratitude is the ultimate, ultimate reason why somebody actually continues to grow. Grateful people always continually grow and then ungrateful people stop at some given lifetime. So here are the three ingredients that go into gratitude. Number one, connectedness. Number two, commitment. And number three, humility. So connectedness, you see yourself as something big, something larger than yourself. You're connected to be a part of that something big that's bigger than yourself. And commitment, and the commitment is that you want to contribute to that larger reality, that something's bigger than you and you want to contribute towards it because you see the value of the contributions that you're making, but what others are making as well. And not only you. And humility. You see yourself as a unique part of that world around you, but you're not the most important part. That's the key. You're not the most important part. You're just part of that. And that's where humility comes in. And when you're connected, committed, and humble, there's always learning going on there. And you're open to learning new things from anyone and everyone around you who might have something to teach you and contribute. And gratitude is removed when there's three mental characteristics that are there that undermine it. Those three mental characteristics that remove gratitude are isolation, egotism, and arrogance. People in isolation cut themselves off from the knowledge and resources and capabilities that others could provide because they're isolated, they're not around other people. And egotistic people continuously destroy the goodwill and support of others. Whatever people are creating, they're just constantly destroying it, demotivating the people around them. And arrogant people increase the opposition and hostility of others. When you're around an arrogant person, you don't want to contribute, right? It undermines that. By cultivating gratitude, we can immunize ourselves against all three of these threats that'll stop us from growing and becoming successful. So here's an action. And this is something I practice on a daily basis, so I can definitely suggest everybody else do it. Start writing down proactive gratitudes every day. Just take a log. What are you grateful for? Write what you're grateful for. Why are you grateful for that? Further progress, what are you gonna do to further increase your gratitude? And then first action, what is the action step you're gonna take that day, that week, or whenever it is? And doing that three times a day, writing three gratitudes every day from small gratitudes, from the weather, from being healthy, from being able to smell, listen, hear, to larger gratitudes of people that are helping you, things that are happening, your relationships, anything around you. So let's practice proactive gratitude. Anytime I fall into this negative zone, the way I'm able to climb out of it is by, I first get my notebook and I start writing all the things I'm grateful for. As Soon as I get to five or six things that I'm grateful for, 
I totally forget why I'm even upset, why I'm even in that negative zone. And all of a sudden, I start becoming grateful. I start becoming happier. Things around me start changing. So practice that. I think gratitude is the only way that we can actually continue to learn and grow all the way into the future. Until the next one, have a great day. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.